While the nucleus of the Grain and Forage Center of Excellence is here at Princeton, the impact is expected to be statewide. Certain things will be regional and some things will be global. We've always, always maintained a history, though, of local focus first, local interest first. Some of those things, like no tillage, become global in perspective. Um, I think that's why it's fitting that our, our next speaker is, is Senator Paul Hornback, a farmer from Shelby County, which isn't 80 miles from Princeton, a little bit further, a lot closer to main campus, actually. But uh, in fact, the first time I met Senator Hornback, he was Paul Hornback, I was a brand new uh, extension specialist. I'd went to Shelby County to visit with the county agent and she had arranged to meet several farmers in the county. And so we, we sat down in the, in the uh, conference room right there and Senator Hornback was a little bit late. He'd been out topping tobacco. He came straight in and so I was green as a brand new specialist and he was green for other reasons <laughs> in there. <laughs> but I think it's, I think it's um, uh, in our, in our democratic republic to have some farmers that are willing to serve in positions such as senators and, and representatives in Frankfurt uh, is important for all of us in that. And so Senator Hornback, we appreciate you. Well, thank you, Chad. And, uh, you know, it's been an honor to work with uh, President Capilouto, all the team that Dean Cox and everybody's put together here. You know, this is a, a great day for not just the University of Kentucky, uh, but for Kentucky agriculture. And like Chad said, you know, I'm not from this area. I've been down here numerous times. Uh, as you can see, I'm not as dirty today as I have been when I first met with Chad. But, but a lot of times I don't uh, wear the coats and the ties and a lot of those things because I'm a farmer and I know what uh, UK College of Ag means to, to the farmers throughout the state. And we appreciate what you do. You know, we've had a lot of recognitions today and a lot of people in this room have, have been recognized for their accomplishments, what they contributed to the project and everything. But let me tell you, when we started on this, and there were just a few of us were involved with it, uh, with it uh, the Holcombs and, and others, but then as we started trying to get it through the process of where we wanted it to go, uh, Dean Cox and, and her team uh, had a lot of work to do. But the one person that, to me, uh, that this project depended on, the expediency of it, because I know Senator Bowen's here somewhere. You know, how often do we start a project from just a discussion point to having it completed in, in four years, have the funding done, have all the design work done. You know, in, in the state and at the university, a lot of times that just doesn't happen. But Dr. Chad Lee went to work because we told him that we needed to have some design work. We need to have a plan. We need to have engineering. We need to have cost estimates. And Wayne Hunt, that all happened very quickly. Uh, that happened within just a few months of time. I was amazed, and, and I think that uh, Chad, if you'd stand up, he deserves a round of recognition for the work that he did. You know, what this facility to bring to Kentucky is just unbelievable. Uh, Drew, we've got a, a lot going on in Kentucky. There's, gonna be a big, there's been a big change in agriculture in Kentucky, and like other speakers have said, like Warren said, you know, agriculture is going to uh, continue to involve. And whether you're in, uh, in Princeton, where you're in Shelbyville, or what part of the state you're in, it's not going to make a lot of difference because everything is going to be applied throughout the state. There's a lot of different soil types here, a lot of different research going on. And so, you know, it's a pleasure for me serving in the Senate to see a project like this come through for the university, especially for the College of Agriculture. You know, sometimes we think we're cut a little bit short in the College of Ag and, and in agriculture, but our voices were heard and uh, we can't thank you enough for President Capilouto for what you did in supporting us. You know, when you talk about the legislature on behalf of the other legislators, the Senate legislators that are here, and I'm sure the House is the same way, when you talk about ag, or when you, when you go to Frankfurt and you have the partisanship, you have the bickering over different issues and everything, one thing I have to say is when we talk about ag, when we work on a project that's in ag, everybody's together on it. I mean, it's not a partisan issue. It's an issue that everybody knows that it's something that comes from the heart, that was something that we're all very uh, committed to, to trying to get done, and we know for its betterment of, of all the state of Kentucky. So. With that, I'd just like to thank everybody for turning out today. It's a great facility, Dean, President, uh, and thank you all for having me here today.